And here we are at the pawn shop. At least we're supposed to be at the pawn shop, but looks like we're at an alleyway instead. Who are you? You old ass bum looking dude. And this guy's just smoking a cigarette, looking all depressed in life. That's not a pawn shop. Here's the pawn shop. Alright. Who are you? Drunk bastard sleeping. Nothing here. Alright, pawn shop it is. Mr. Butler's key matches the lock perfectly. Of course it would. Why wouldn't it? He's the owner of this pawn shop. What do we have here? Crampons and a sharp ice axe would only be brought here by a mountaineer. What the hell is a crampon? Another object of interest. So we got one at the hallway. I mean the alleyway. Of whatever street that was. Half, half Moonwalk Street or whatever. And then we got this, right? Where are we going to use those things? The plot thickens, anyway. Nice and squeaky. Little ass baby pawn shop, man. What is this? This is a necklace. The ram's heads. This necklace belongs to the five rams of Mittelin collection. Interesting. That means that Kenneth Butler owned a part of this collection all this time, ten years after the theft. Yeah, but who owned the goddamn bracelet? Who Whose body did we find the bracelet off of? Anyway, Brian Vercotti's letter. Hello, Kenneth. I remember you once told me about three pieces of golden jewelry with ram heads. From ancient Greece, you still got them right. Well, good news for you. I found a man loaded with money who's crazy about those jewels. He's ready to fork out a small fortune. I can arrange meeting with this money bag for you, but I want it. But I want you to cut me in on the deal. I'll be waiting for you at the crossing of Great Alley and Half Moon Street. Hmm. Who else knew about this meeting? No? So there's that, right? And then we got... No. Alright, moving on. It looks as though Mr. Butler kept a careful record of his operations. So we got that. It's pretty laggy in this section. A lot of frame drops. A flare pistol. Perhaps it was pawned by a destitute sailor. And that tells us nothing. Or it's another another object of interest. Holy fuck. Too many objects of interest. We're never going to get to the bottom of this case. Time out. Time out. So we got those two, right? Something a mountain climber dude and apparently a destitute sailor, correct? Shit, what do we do with these pieces of information? So we got the necklace and the bracelet, so where's the ring? What else do we have to do here? Hmm... Perform a re All right, looks like we're going back to Half Moon Street, right? I'm guessing that's where the reenactment has to happen. I'm back on Half Moon Street. Let's see if we can get a reenactment going, shall we? First of all, there's another object of interest there that I gotta see as well in this alleyway. What's up with you, lad? What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for my brother to be released. Your brother? 
the one that you caught, beat up and imprisoned. Ah, the murderer. He ain't killed no one, copper. Watch your copper. mouth, lad, <laughs> else you'll be joining that worthless brother of yours. Talking all that shit to the Wiggins boy, huh? That's not nice. Where'd he go? Wait, here's the little pole a of interest. A fairly long pole with a forked end. We need to figure out these what these objects of interest are for, man. It would man. be my pleasure to assist you with your investigation. Wiggins, what do you know? Mr. Ohm. Alright, reenactment time. Select a gunman. I'm guessing this guy was a shooter, actually. Right? I am unable to see any higher. I need to find something to lift my lamp. Aha! Uh -huh, that's where the pole comes in handy. Progress! This should be useful. Let us see what we have here. Nothing interesting here. So he was not the shooter. Move! Dead body, you fuck. What do we have up here? Up. Oh. This is most definitely a bullet hole. The brick cracks are fresh. So we what? know who the shooter there was. There was a third shot fired in this street. So we definitely know who the shooter was, right? He was the shooter. Where did third shot come from? Or the third shooter? So if he was aiming this way, maybe the third shooter came from this way, he was trying to get him. But then why was that first shot so fucking high, right? There's that. And then third shot, long lost art, no, latent statement. There's that. And no. Alright, let's see. Disappearing man laying... Chapman's statements regarding the jacket, the man who disappeared at Half Moon Street now seems reasonable as the third shot, as the three shots at the crime scene prove the presence of a second gun that is now missing. Yes. Right? And then you got... Burglary motive, right? Ken of Butler and Brian Vercotti both died of crossfire with each of them holding a gun. One of the gun is now missing. Ken were the victims of a dinner carried out by one person. It was crossfire, right? So that means, I guess that means there were simultaneous shots and we still got to get to the bottom of that thing. Hmm... What else do what else do we know at the moment? Constable Marrow, I would value your assistance in this investigation. It would be my pleasure, Mr. Holmes. I would like to make sure that there are no places in Half Moon Street where a man could hide while you were running through it with your lamp. All right, Mr. Holmes, what should I do? Take your lamp and start walking, just as you did before, and try to find me. Understood. 
Oh, we playing a game of hide and seek. I am the best hide and seeker ever. How are we gonna do this? Ah, oh, god damn it! I'm the one seeking. Son of a bitch. Where you at, Sherlock? Huh? You're not slick, Sherlock. I'm gonna find you, you son of a bitch. You're not a better hider than I am. I am a seeking master. Look at you. Look at you. I can see you very well, Mr. Holmes. All right, Constable. Let's try again. I'll find another place to hide. Yeah, you're not slick. Do 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 do. Uh, look at you, you bum. Here you are, Mr. Holmes. All right, Constable. Let's try again. I'll find another place to hide. Looking all obvious and whatnot. Do 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 do. -do. Sherlock. Sherlock Holmes. Holy shit, where'd he go? No, 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 no. You're not getting away from me, you fuck. Where is he? He's not this good. Nobody's this good. What? Ah, there you are, Mr. Sherlock. Holmes, it wasn't difficult to find you at all. It is obvious now. No one could escape Constable Marrow's lamp while hiding in the street. See that? Because we're too good. So there's that. I mean, but then again, we were like just looking for him, right? If we were just running, we might have missed him in one of the spots. Hmm. If we can assume that there was one more person in Half Moon Street at the time of the crime, then there was no way forward or back for his escape, only up. Let us reenact the action, recreate the fire was described by laying an attempt to climb the wall. Sounds good to me. Let us try. Alright, that has no correlation, correct? Let's see what we get. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. No. What do we have to do? Reenactment. Find the flare gun to emulate the fireworks. The flare gun was... At the pawn shop. It would... So, back to the pawn shop we go. At least we found a use for that. Now we just gotta find a use for the other thing, 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 thing. Let's go get this flare gun. I'm pretty sure it was here, right? It was on the wall. Not that wall, but this one. Give me this gun. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Give me this, this gun. This is exactly what we need in order to imitate the flash of the fireworks. Oh, and matter of fact, we could grab this too, because this is needed to climb the damn thing. Perfect. We got progress, guys. Not exactly what I need to climb the wall. The game is officially afoot. We have progress all over the place, and then we got to go back. Find a use. Oh. Yeah, we got to go back to blah, 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 Half Moon Street, correct? Back at Half Moon Street, about to reenact the Spider-Man climb. Let's see how this goes, shall we? Why are you looking at me all the time like that? I'm just watching you, lad. I never know what to expect from people like you. People, people like you, like huh? Me? Yes, street beggars and thieves. I ain't a thief. Oh no. Then where did you get whatever it is that you're gnawing on? I very much doubt that you bought it. What ain't seen can't hardly be stolen. This cop's an asshole, man. This constable is a douchebag, literally. Constable Marrow. Watson, I would like to perform another kind of reenactment with your help. I'm listening, Mr. Holmes. I want to check if Leighton's testimony can be trusted. If someone could vanish into thin air at a specific moment. But Holmes, I don't see how. I am going to be the mysterious gentleman whom Leighton followed. I will stand exactly where he saw him before he was blinded by the flash. Watson, you will be Leighton. When I fire the signal flare, 
you should start to chase me. I understand, Holmes. You, Constable Marrow, just play your part and do exactly as you did. Just, please, wait five seconds after the signal flare. I doubt that Polly Powell would have screamed any earlier. As you say, Mr. Holmes. Let us begin, then. Catch me if you can. I challenge thee. What do we do here? Which wall? The moon illuminates this wall. Anyone trying to climb it would be easily spotted by Constable Marrow. Is there more spots than that one? No, right? Alright. So, if it's not this wall, it's gotta be this wall. This wall is cast in shadow. It would be difficult to see anyone scaling it. Definitely gotta be that wall, right? Where'd you go, Sherlock? Alrighty then. I can barely see anything. This is just tedious here. What the hell? I pressed R2. Holmes? Are you there? I guess you just got a molest R2 button. I should try climbing faster. I'm trying to climb faster. Let's try this again, shall we? We'll do it right this time, right? Do 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 do. I can barely see anything. So quick, so furious, so fast. Holmes? Are you there? Where is he? My god, a man can't just disappear like that. Oh, I just did it though. Proof. Holmes? Holmes? Where are you? I cannot see you, Mr. Holmes. Dr. Watson, it seems that Mr. Holmes has disappeared. Don't worry, gentlemen, I am up here, above your heads. How on earth did you get up there, Holmes? I am using crampons and a climbing axe, although the person we are looking for did not leave any traces of such tools. Constable, is there any way to get to the top of this building? Yes, Mr. Holmes, I can show you. The door to the building can be found from Whitechapel Street. Gentlemen, I am on my way down. So there's a way to get up without using the blah 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 blah, right? Wait, where'd he say? Whitechapel Street? This is the back door of the building with the attic floor that you required, Mr. H what? Oh, we're automatically up top, huh? Broken window to plot thickens. Whose jacket is this? Someone broke through the window to get inside the attic, but in his haste, he ripped his jacket. Dun 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 dun. Jacket. Shabby fabric. Black threads. A cluster of thick black threads. They're unusually strong. I should examine them under the microscope. So now we gotta analyze that, correct? What up? There was another thing here, actually. Up oh, there These it is. These shards of glass are from the window above. And then there was another thing, we no? We conclude that the person whom Leighton saw climbed up the wall, broke into the attic window, and escaped through the hatch. All right. So he came in through the window, left through the door, correct? 
And then now we have to examine these threads and all that good stuff. And I'm pretty sure we're done over here. But before we end this part, right? Bam. There's that. And that has nothing to do with that, correct? Maybe. <laughs> Definitely not. Alright. Lane's innocence. Lane Chapman's statement regarding the mysterious jacket man who participated in the shooting at the half moon. She was proven to be true. The witness testimonies and crime. Alright, that. Alright. So there's that, correct? There was definitely crossfire. We gotta cancel out this imaginary man one. Anyway, that is gonna be the end of this part, guys. For the next part, we're gonna be analyzing some threads and all that good stuff. But, as of now, Such give the video some likes, add it to your favorites, all that good stuff. See you for the next part.